Gold price is pulling back for the second day in a row. Here to talk about that movement, why we've seen up and down to start the year is Mike McGlone of ETF Securities US. Mike, is always great to have you, but even greater to be back in studio with you. Good to be back, Joe. Thanks for having me. So, Mike, uh, people were looking at the beginning of the year saying, oh, wow, gold's up, the market's down. Now gold's pulled back for two straight days. Uh, what, what the heck's going on? Well, I think the beginning of the year was a little bit of an aberration. It was between holidays, and now we're the first full week of the year. All the senior traders, all the major professionals are back on their desks. And it's really to see how, let's see how this week pans out. I think what's really happening in gold is gold's trying to carve a bottom around 1,200. And there's very good support there technically and fundamentally. Fundamentally for us, we show 1,200 is the all-in cost of production. And then there's all this massive demand from Asia, and it's showing up, and it's really showing up in other areas. For instance, gold futures were in backwardation just recently, and gold forward rates are still negative, which shows excessive demand. But we'll see if that, but with this 1,200 level, will hold, and this week will probably be the key. By the end of day, by the end of day Friday, we should have a better yes. indication. Yes. So maybe investors sit and wait to watch. But also, we just saw the confirmation of Janet Yellen to become the next chair of the Federal Reserve. I'm wondering, a lot of people are looking forward. She is going to be in charge of all the pullback and quantitative easing. Do we see gold lose each time that the Fed announces further pullbacks in economic stimulus? Well, we could, but um, I think a lot of that's priced in. And the stimulus is more reactive, and the Fed has made that point. They're reacting to the data. If the data continues very strong, if we see a major pickup in economic growth and a decline in unemployment, yes, they'll pull back, and the market knows that. So I think it's most notably priced in. I don't think Yellen's going to be a really big difference. The market's already accepted that, and it's had its period of volatility. Now it's just kind of stuck in this range, and it needs the other markets just to kind of break out. For instance, what's going to happen with the equity market? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen with the bond market? Are rates going to continue to go higher? Uh, you know, things like that. Right. Well, Mike McGlone, thanks so much for your take. Thanks for having me. For The Street, I'm Joe Doe.